Just enjoying a nice little drink on a nice happy little Wednesday. Going to do a tour of my aquatic dome, which was inspired by Rudy Ren Campbell. Uh, of course, one of the most amazing domes that I've ever seen, and mine is nowhere as good. <laughs> and I had so many troubles <laughs> getting the water to work. Oh, what a nightmare. Uh, but I ended up getting it to work, at least to a satisfactory level, I think. And I think she's ready now. Um, so, uh, first, I guess, um, I'll show you the outside. All pretty with its little waterfalls. Uh, I definitely took a lot of inspiration from Rudy's, obviously, with the, the double dome here. But I think it turned out nicely. Um, I did put in a waterfall over here. Now you can kind of see the little entrance sign. The Pelagian Dome. My nice little waterfall. Um, the whole thing is very large, like very large. Um, it is sort of designed to be a once through like Rudy's, uh, but there are a couple places you can double back. Um, but yeah, this is the whole build. Nice big fat dome. <laughs> She's fat. No, I'm sorry, she thick with two C's, my thick dome. My thick double dome. Anyways, uh, there is the one entrance which is on this side, which cuts in underneath the uh, seal cave. And then uh, the main entrance is this one, which uh, very similar to Rudy's opens up into the otter habitat first. Yeah. So what I think I'll do is, um, uh, I can't remember the name of it. Let's go look it up. <laughs> Stupid. Can't remember the name of the uh, cheat code for Planet Zoo. Um, so you can walk around. It's been a while since I've used it. Uh, What is it? Oh. I literally can't find it right now. <laughs> this is one of those things I should have looked at before it started tonight. Uh. Uh. Well, that's not working. Hang on. Jeez. Uh, and it do first person. Uh, Tedig Camp. Tegid Camp. I can never remember that. Jeez. It's the little things, isn't it? Alright, the real question is, can I find some dude? Hello? Dude? Oh, there's a dude. We'll just rename you. Tegid Camp. Ooh. Okay. All right, let's just go back to the beginning. Let's get this off. Get off the screen. All right, so uh, as you'll notice, the rest of the zoo, or lack thereof, is in fact very empty, and I don't imagine it will change. I just really wanted to have a nice flat surface to build my dome. Nice big open area. We'll just imagine that there's more zoo 
or this is just the entire thing. Anyway, so you walk up to the dome, and you see your little entrancey sign, the Pelagian Dome. And take a look at the waterfall. Ooh. So this is our entrance. Uh, it's hidden, but there is some staff facilities back there. To go through what is our double door to help keep this area moist and warm. And the first habitat we see on our right is the giant otters. And we get a look at our somewhat intricate <laughs> and very annoying build, which is our ceiling. I wanted it to be some sort of support beam structure because I didn't want to have beams coming down. So I tried to think of what would be a realistic-ish, um, a realistic type of framework to help keep it supported. Um, there is one animal talk here where you can listen to the talk and get a good view of the otters. Hi cuties. Herk. What cute little babies. Gonna do anything clever or just bob around? Bob around. Uh, so I made this uh, little cave for their bed. Oh, this is okay. We're, we're just gonna ignore this. I'm sure it's gonna come back to bite me. Delete. Yes. Uh, <laughs> there is one big issue this zoo has, and it is escaping animals. And I have yet to figure out the reason for it. I think it has to be a bug. It has to be a bug. No! No! Not while I'm playing! No! No! It's okay. The vet will come and take care of it. Cry. Um, the, the, the aquatic animals, when they are swimming, have this annoying tendency of just swimming through the wall. Yes, I know. You told me. Um, and they just kind of swim. So like they'll be swimming here and they'll just come out this back wall back here and just keep swimming in the air, which is really frustrating. <laughs> hello, hello, Bob. Um, anyways, uh, this is our Otter Cove Cafe. So you can get a nice seat here and enjoy the otters. Look how cute they are. Ah! Are you gonna poop? Probably, anytime I zoom in on them, they poop. Boing! No, not this time. Hooray. Okay, uh, so we have our Otter Cove Cafe here. Um, and over here we just have some shops with some vines. I know. I'd fix it, but then they'd kick me out of the ticket cam or whatever. So there's some shops over here on our left. Another side of the cave slash waterfall system. I really enjoy these fake rocks that they've installed. I think they give, honestly, even though they're fake rocks, they definitely give more of a realistic feel. Um, you go over the bridge, which goes over the otter habitat on this side, and then you can also get a glimpse of the saltwater crocodile habitat on this side, although I don't see any swimming around on the top. So, um... We go down, I, I know, this looks heckin' jigawonky, but it works. <laughs> I could not get this road to attach. I, you know, the pathing system has its ups and downs in this game. This would be one of those downs. I couldn't get rid of you. Uh, I probably could try and hide it, but that seemed like a lot of work because it was like a very obvious, huge bloop. Anyways, uh, so after the otter habitat, you go down the stairs into this submerged underground air. Oh god, and now I'm stuck in the wall. Hello. Hello. What am I stuck on? Jesus. Am I not going to be able to go through here for some stupid reason? Is this too... What am I stuck on? What am I stuck on? Oh my god. You're what? Well, you're floating. Huh. There you go. Huh. It's because of this lump, huh? Isn't it? It's a lump. Okay. This is cute and all, but I'm over it. I would like to go this way now, please. Hello? Oh my god. See, big YouTubers never have this problem. This looks like a thing I should be able to pass through. Oh, my sweet giddy aunt. 
I don't know what to do. That's the only way down. <laughs> but look at my people. They just float. I want to follow you. I want to follow you. How can I, can I, he renames you? Okay, good. Okay. Oh, and like that, we now become fun. Ha ha ha. I beat the system. Or I'm stuck still. Let's click you. Call you. We're just going to slowly work our way down via cheat codes. Okay, whoa, whoa, we are very stuck. Hello? Hello? Oh my god, this is terrifying. Hello? Oh my god. Fine. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go. And we'll wait till we find a. See, I can go through this fine when I'm just doing this. Because I have settings involved. <laughs> so, anyways, we go down the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, we go through the tunnel here, and uh, we see the entrance to, oh geez, is this going to be a real thing all the time? Oh, wow, we're underneath. This is insane. Okay, exit out of this, please. Yeah, we're just going to do this the old-fashioned way. Okay, uh, so we see on this side the little Cayman statue. <laughs> Uh -huh. Anyways, uh, a staff room over there. Um, and then we have this wonderful um, underwater tunnel for our saltwater crocs. Now, I couldn't manage to get... Oh, here comes one now. That's so cool. Uh, I couldn't manage it to not uh, look like it's underwater for some reason. I don't really understand why that's happening, but okay. Uh, I mean, I know it's... It's, I swear, it's just a manipulation of the game. So, I mean, I get that it doesn't work properly because it wasn't supposed to work properly in the first place. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we see uh, our amazing saltwater crocodile swimming outside. Uh, and then once you come through the Earth's tunnel, you are greeted by the beautiful side of the bathrooms, which if you're anything like me is a sense of relief when you go anywhere in the public because I never know when the next bathroom will hit me. So, bam bathroom um so we'll go to let's go to our left first this is the continuation of the sea otter habitat down beneath oh my god this game oh my god this game hello hello i need to change the settings this is driving me nuts uh, uh settings god, i had to think camera Where? Pfft. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if that worked. There we go. Whoa, now we're in the habitat. Where's my, oh my God, I'm lost. Hello? <laughs> Whoa, how'd we get way over here? Jeez. Okay, okay. There's our, there we go. Beautiful. Too much too soon. Oh my god, too much too, oh my gosh. I need to change the sensitivity on this mouse, good grief. I would do the little take it cam, but it doesn't seem to want to work in here. Anyways, um, <laughs> again. This is our underwater viewing gallery for the otter. They will often come and play over here and get some little fishies. Uh, and then to our right, we have this terrapin habitat. The terrapin, uh, the diamondback terrapin. There are several little viewing areas. This is one. Just now noticing that this thing is floating. Love that. Cool. Fixed. Yep, our little diamondback terrapin. You can see him floating around there. Look how cute he is. Oh my gosh, I really love how what they've done with this. I mean, I wish they would swim around more, but I mean, 
they are floating and you can see that they are actively swimming. So I think that, I want to say that bodes well for future aquatic type exhibits. So if they wanted to do schooling fish, I think what they could do is just do a school of fish for each one of their little tiny places of like, you know, three fish or something so that they all match the, the animation. Anyways, um, back behind the terrapins is uh, this little, lovely little otter themed restaurant where you can also still see the backs of the terrapin. Um, yes, yeah, so we have some, some lovely little shops. I wanted it to look kind of like uh, the inside of a harbor almost. Um, we can go out that way, but that leads into the Arctic. And I really want to go take a look at the other half of the, um, hello ladies. Uh, I want to go take a look at the other half of the uh, tropical side. So if you go to the right from the underwater tunnel, what you'll see is, God, I can't get up this hill, is the underwater gallery for our saltwater crocodile. Uh, there is a feeder over here. Well, it doesn't look active right now. I wonder if we can fix that. Where is she? Oh, no, she is there. Um, but here's our saltwater crocodile exhibit from below. Not a lot of out in here right now. Last time I was down here, they did pretty well. Um, this is a little tiny cafe, a little seating area over here. Uh, where you can sit and watch the crocodile swim while you have your lunch. Um, and then over here we have the Swamp Shack, which is this lovely little subterranean swamp hut with some more shops, obviously, and a lovely little uh, garden here. Um, on the other side of our saltwater crocodiles, we have our caimans, our, um, our little baby caimans here. Now, I haven't seen them out in here. I can see them. There they are. They're just kind of floating, hanging out. Beautiful. Go away. So yeah, this is our little caiman habitat. Um, over here, we have the other entrance to the swamp shack. And you get a nice peek up into the uh, upper level. If you go around this corner... You can hopefully Oh my gosh, stairs are really hard on this. I wish I had the take a cam, but it's not gonna let me do it. That's fine. Uh anyways, uh, if you come up to the second level, the higher level of the tropical side, you're greeted by this nice lush rock face, and then it just kind of leads you up here to get you a top view of the caimans in their lovely little tropical paradise. Get a nice view of the sun. I wanted there to be lots of light for the tropical side uh, because obviously this is like a large terrarium and I wanted the trees to be able to survive in here. So we've got our lovely caimans who are just chilling out. Little tiny dudes. If you can get a quick look at them. Oh, hungry? No. Why are you hungry? There's fish down there. Go get them, fool. I saw the fish thing was working. Uh, and then if you continue along this upper level, you can get a lovely view of the saltwater crocodiles from the top. Get a nice view of them. It's the sun glints off them. Oh, I love them so much. I love all of the aquatic uh, reptiles in this game. Kick that ball. Okay, let's see. Can we see? Okay, we're out of the building. I don't know. Let's move you back to here. And then you. Hmm. You're on the roof for some reason. <laughs> uh, how did you get over here? Jeez. Oh, okay. Go back to your home. You mean invalid destination, there you go. Okay, jeez. Okay, now everybody should be happy and healthy, right? Good. God, I can't do anything. All right. 
All right, so we come over here and we see our lovely top view of the saltwater crocodile with the beautiful waterfalls in the background and some very swampy looking trees and lots and lots and lots of lily pads. Uh, another game issue I did notice, um, and I have seen in other YouTubers' videos, that the new additional lily pad, the, I don't remember what it's called, it's the purple, purpley one. Uh, I think it's the blue lily. I don't remember what it's called. Um, something is really messed up about its mechanics because for whatever reason, the animals consider it a, a, a stable source to walk in within their hitbox. So if the blue lily pads are out here, there's just, there's just crocodiles standing on the lily pads. And I'm like, well, that looks normal. Uh, but for some reason, it doesn't it doesn't happen with these. They just swim right through them just like they would in real life. So I much prefer these. I, I do really like the color of the purple ones, but obviously if they're going to be standing on the lily pads, I don't want that for me or them. <laughs> Anyways, ahem. Anyways uh, from here, you get a gorgeous view of our inside tropical terrarium looking all lush and stuff. So I'm very pleased with how that turned out. Um, and then after you have come to see the beautiful reptilian babies, um, you enter into the uh, cold place. Uh, so I did a similar thing with a double door here for keeping it cool. So uh, first thing we do is we come up and we see a little lighthouse. Uh, actually one of the prefabs for this patch, which I actually thought was pretty cute. So I kept it little tall for in here but i don't care um and then on our left we also have another free prefab which is this watchtower which i thought looked pretty good in here um and i really wanted to use these pieces even though they're they're a little tall but i wanted to get them in here anyway so you continue on your down this way and we are greeted by the beautiful blubbery uh spirit animal that is the beautiful gray seal uh, some of them are just basking in the sun there. A few of them are swimming. We still have a few babies as well. But yes, they're very cute. Um, so we come around this side and we start to enter into the colder climate. Um, I took a couple hints from Rudy and thought that the only way that it would make sense to keep this area cold was to have these continual coolers on. Um, and I liked his use of uh, the snow effect. I think it gives it a lot more character and it makes it feel colder even, I think. So I put those in. Uh, they're not the same design. They're a little bit more simplistic for sure because I can't, I can't do things. Um, anyways, over here we have um, our penguins from view from the top. We have some, uh, I really wanted to give it kind of a, a shipwreck feel. Most of this, of the, the dome is quite themed and I wanted to stay with that. So I have all these beautiful pieces of uh, shipwrecked items. Ugh, don't care. They're just constantly escaping because they just go right through the freaking walls. I don't understand. Anyways, all our beautiful penguins swimming around. Uh, we do get another view of, of both the seal and the penguin from below. We have a, another view of the watchtower from here as well as a lovely view from here of the other side of the large dome. Um, here we have a penguin talk so that you can come out here and take a look at the penguins as they swim around and play. Oh gosh, I love their little waddle. I can't even. Can we just, can we just, can we just? Uh, oh, he swim. Uh, 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 yes. Hello, look at you and your little waddle go. <laughs> look at that little penguin, like, I don't know. <laughs> they're so funny when they're babies. They just look like, I'm above this. I'm above this and everything you stand for. God, they're so cute. They did such a good job with the textures and the, the believability of the penguins. Like I am really surprised at how well they work. I think out of all of the animals that they put in this game, this one was probably the hardest. They have the most things like that one's about to puke in the baby's mouth. <laughs> See, like they didn't have to add that. 
that they did. I think that's really cool. Sloop. Sloop. That was some interesting defying of gravity-ness. Cool. Love it. Uh, anyways, um, I think they did a very good job on the penguins behaviors and how they move and they're just super cute i think they did a great job i think that must have been the most difficult animal probably for this patch if i was going to guess i think once they have the swimming mechanics down you can kind of use a similar mechanic for the seals but the seals really just kind of blob around they have no really complicated movements in my opinion freaking love them i think they're the cutest thing oh you can see one oh, he's over there go look at him go uh anyways <laughs> I can't, I, 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 every, no matter how many hours I play this game, the animals are still my favorite thing about it. All right, anyway, um, let's, I'm just gonna hop down here so you can pretend we went through it. Uh, this is that entrance that leads back to the otter cafe and the underwater otter viewing gallery. On this side, oh my gosh, I know. Dead, yes, dangerous animal, I know. Anyways, um. On this side, we have our underwater viewing gallery for the penguin. It's the only thing I couldn't figure out how to do is how to make it dark enough in here. I mean, I can turn into nighttime. I did put a lot of work into the uh, lights, so maybe that'd be worth seeing. Yeah, I like that anyways. Much more moody. Uh, anyway, so at nighttime, I think this, the, 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 um, aquatic side comes alive at least particularly the um the uh, penguin habitat are there no penguins swimming whatsoever hello well they're swimming at the top anybody gonna dive humor me how come it's only when i'm trying to like show you guys off you guys don't want to come out listen i told you I told you I didn't want you guys growing up. I didn't want you making more babies. I just want you guys to stay young and beautiful forever. Game, please. Animal settings. Jeez. Disable animal living growth. Good. Animal death. Good. I thought we already fixed this. Apply. Okay. Resume. Okay. Now everyone will stay the same age forever. Anyways, uh, I don't know why they're not diving. They're just kind of bobbing around out there. Is it because the fish thing's not working? What if I fix the fish thing? Fish thing. Oh, it's going now. Keeper beat me to it. There's also this weird gl gl glitch here that I can't figure out. The wall works, it just does have, it looks weird. Anyways, uh, that's the underwater penguin habitat. Um, over here is an, the entrance to that entrance. <laughs> It's another underwater tunnel that leads to the outside, but let's go around this side first. Um, on this side, we have the beautiful, majestic seals. Oh, they're so sweet. I think they did a great job with their swimming mechanics. I love how their fins work. Like if you've ever seen seals swim, that is exactly what their little tail fins look like. So nicely done. Uh, and tribute to Rudy, um, I have included his anchor from five billion years ago. Um, it's in here looking all harbory. And our beautiful seals dance among the waves. Um, on this side, let me get a different shot. Um, um, from this side, we have a... Uh, this little seal harbor. What are you doing there? Karen, get your life together. Um, I put together this little, I wanted to have some tidal pools, like you know how they have it like aquariums and stuff where they have like those um, reach out and touch and things, but obviously this one's not that, but I wanted to be able to be, people to be able to look down and see the animals down there. Um, I had to use the rapids in order to make it look like waves. Waves would be so cool to have, though. Um, but, yeah, this is our little seal harbor. I, I really was trying to make this look like the shops that you see down in Newport, Oregon. 
Uh, they're always like mismatched colors and kind of jarring, but really cute, very cozy. And all snug up next to each other with varying heights of, of roof. <laughs> On, on this side, we have um, our beautiful seals and then our other tidal pool, just to make this feel more like a dock rather than just an underwater feature. Anyways, uh, that is the majority of the aquatic dome. Let's go take a look at the underwater tunnel, which, uh, which doesn't look that great given that it's nighttime. Let me... <laughs> We changed it to daytime over here because I don't think I put lights in over here. Hello. Oh my gosh. I know. Go away. So you can sometimes see the seals swim over here and they'll come play. Of course, while I'm here, they're not here. Oh, there's one in the background. <gasps> here he comes. Oh, and there he goes. Come back to me, my love. Come back to me. Hello? Let's go in the water. Um, I also really love the new aquatic grass that they put in. Uh, this filler grass is beautiful. I think it, and it blends with itself really well. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's wonderful. Anyways, uh, back into here. I swear this really isn't underwater. Um, you go through this lovely little thing and you pop out the other side. Or go straight into the ground. Jesus. <laughs> I'm so sad the tegged cam didn't work. It's like it wanted me it wanted to go straight to the ground, the actual ground. Uh, anyways, that is my aquatic dome. Uh, five beautiful species in their lovely little dome with our lovely, uh, I think, uh, man, I'm trying to think of which one's my favorite and I really don't know. Uh, I really like, I don't even know which my favorite habitat is, uh, but I think my favorite part of this is, um, I really enjoyed building the tropical uh, terrarium on the tropical side. I additionally brought in, um, we're just gonna smash through this window. Uh, I also brought in a lot of tropical plants for the roof in here, just to make it feel a little bit more lush. So I really enjoy doing the tropical side. I, I really enjoy working with plants. Nothing brings alive your zoo like when you place down your foliage. <laughs> Um, and I also really enjoy how my roof of my aquatic dome worked out. The, the lovely roof pieces that they've added with the foliage is fantastic. And I kind of went a little nuts with all of the placing of plants. <laughs> and also I have no idea how many rocks I used in this thing, but it was a ton. There is a million rocks, probably 1 billion rocks. I don't, my estimate keeps going up, but it's probably true. Anyways, uh, this is my lovely aquatic dome. I hope you enjoyed the little tour. And um, hopefully I can come up with some new projects now that this one's done. Um, I'm not really sure what to do next. Um, part of me wants to wait for the next DLC, but uh, who knows when that will be. Um, yeah, and I've heard, some, I've heard of some whispers and a little bit of some people finding some things in the game code, but I don't know. I know nothing. I have nothing in my brain. Um, but so what I think I'll do is I might, um, I might do an Asian zoo. I haven't really done an Asian zoo, uh, more like primarily Asian. I've done Asian sections, but I've never done just an Asian zoo. So maybe I'll give that a try. It might be fun to do different parts of Asia. Um, I'm not sure if I'll include India, even though it is technically Asia. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but maybe an Asian zoo. That seems good. I just really want missing pandas right now. I miss pandas, okay? I miss pandas. They're beautiful and fluffy, and they remind me of me right now because I'm just fluffy and roly and poly, and just all I want to do is eat and sleep all day. So, yeah, I'm missing some pandas, so I think that's maybe what I will do. Until then, have a lovely night, and... I will see you in the next vid.